Causeway Kids, welcome to another week of Church Online. We hope you are well and that you're enjoying being with your family. This week I am with Savannah and her pony. And we are learning to say thank you. Now, of course, you learn to say thank you when you are two years old, but for some reason we forget to say thank you. And so this week is all about remembering to say thank you. Before we go any further, let's play a game together. Here you go, John. I just wanted to say thank you. What for? For loaning me your nose hair trimmer. I, I feel like I can breathe again. Ah. Uh, <sighs> mm, we didn't have to. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I know I didn't. Oh, I have something for you. What? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> there you go. What's this? Ah, just a little something to say thank you for the donuts. Oh, this is really unexpected. I, I didn't know that you were getting, how did you know I was getting you donuts? Yeah. It's great. Oh man! Oh wow! You know how much I love big fluffy sweaters. <laughs> Consider yourself <sighs> thanked. And to thank you for the sweater. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, I painted this for you. Oh, for you? Oh, uh -huh. thank you. Two tickets for tonight's game. Oh, third row? Allow me to show my appreciation. What? An annual membership to the Chili of the Month Club? Well, guess what? <laughs> oh. Your new car? Yeah, just 
consider it a token of Thanks. my appreciation. Oh, I win! Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and we're glad you decided to hang out with us today. Because you could be doing anything other than watching us. Yeah, you could be playing video games. Or riding your bike. Or watching slime videos. Or counting your pencils. Or waiting in the bushes for the mailman to come by so you can jump out and bark at him again. But you're not. You are here hanging out with us. You could be at the movies. Oh, okay, we did all that. Oh, uh, oh hey, speaking of, Brandon. I picked something up for you at the bookstore yesterday. Woo! You were at the bookstore? They also sell Slurpees. Ah. Uh, yeah. When I saw this, I thought of you, so here. It's for me. Yeah. Huh. Movie quotes for all occasions. I've heard about this book. It, it gives you the perfect movie quote to say, no matter what situation you're in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, listen to this one. This is for when you're in history class, but you don't want to be. <laughs> I never look back, darling. It detracts from the now. <laughs> it's from The Incredibles. Yeah, right? yeah. So, uh, you like it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, listen to this one. This, is, this okay. is for when you're charging into battle while wearing a kilt. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! <laughs> that seems like a very specific occasion. So, uh, uh, I got you a gift. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to me? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to say to infinity and beyond. It's for when you're at a mathlete competition. <laughs> That's all you're gonna... That's it? No. No. No, there's tons of stuff in here. I think it's time we play a game. I call, What Are You Forgetting? Here's one from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, that one's kind of obvious. Hey! I'll give it back to you once we're done with the game. Here's how to play. I'll show you a picture, and then you tell me what somebody forgot. Sounds easy enough. All right, All right. first one. What did they forget in this picture? Okay, I can tell you one thing they forgot. They forgot to put a picture on this puzzle. I mean, who wants to put together a, a plain white puzzle? Actually, the answer we were looking for is someone forgot to finish the puzzle by putting in the final piece. Oh, huh? yeah, I can see that. Okay. I can see that. Next one. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's Gary. Hey, Gary, you forgot to wear your glasses. You know that guy? <laughs> yeah, it's Gary. Okay, well, Gary forgot to shave half his beard off. Looks like you remember to shave half his beard off. The, the other half. Oh, gotcha. Next. Oh, that guy forgot to wear a tie. And he's missing his head! Uh, Next one! Last one! Oh, okay, now this one is, is very serious. This could be very dangerous, actually. actually. Uh, somebody forgot to hire a lifeguard for this pool. They forgot the water! There is no water in that pool! That pool has no liquid of any kind for him to go kerplunky! Well, obviously. And that's how you play, are you forgetting something? I thought it was called, what are you forgetting? I got it! Got it! Good game. Can I can I have my book back now? Oh yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying your gift. Am I missing something? Yes. Did I do something? No, you didn't. It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh, nothing. Apparently, I did something or didn't do something. I just want to say, Cameron, thank you for filling in for our friend Kellen this month. No problem. What's that you're holding? Oh, oh, it's this book of movie quotes that John gave me. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? That's for when you're in a loud restaurant. What's the story, Cameron? Well, it's a story about being thankful and forgetting to be thankful. Perfect. Take it away, Cameron. I could use a little help for this story. Anyone want to lend a hand? Mm -hmm. That should work. 
Jesus was going to Jerusalem. On his way, he saw a group of 10 men. All of them had a skin disease. Stay away! We're unclean! And we may be contagious. Don't forget to social distance. When they saw Jesus, they cried out to him. Jesus! Master! Have pity on us! No one wants to hang out with us anymore. Jesus felt pity on the ten men, so he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. Did he say, show ourselves to the priest? What good would that do? We're still unclean. Come on! It's Jesus! Maybe we should do like he says. So they set off to see the priests. And while they were on their way... Something feels different! You're right! Uh, our skin disease! It's gone! We're all healed! Just like Jesus said! We should go and tell him how grateful we are! Let's go! Sure, sure. We're right behind you. One of the men who had been healed was from Samaria. He was already kind of an outsider before he had the skin disease. Yet, he was the only one who went back to thank Jesus. He threw himself at Jesus' feet. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You've changed my life. You've saved my life. Thank you so much. And Jesus replied, Weren't all ten healed? Where are the other nine? Didn't anyone else return and give praise to God except this outsider? And then he said, Get up and go. Your faith has healed you. The end. Thank you, Helping Hands. Wow, such a cool story, Cameron. But I can't believe only one person thanked Jesus. How can you forget to thank someone who was, who was so kind to you? Hello, saying thank you is not that hard. I mean, who would, who would do some, who would, oh. I'm out. I forgot to say thank you for the book you gave me. I'm one of the nine. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, yeah I mean, you should have said something. Well, I mean, I, we did play the whole game. Reveal the question. Why do people forget to say thank you? Yeah, there are a lot of people who do things for us. Moms, dads, friends, neighbors. We should be saying thank you a hundred times a day. But why do we forget? You can't handle the truth! Why are you so mad? I said thank you. No, it's a movie quote. I... Oh, yeah, good one. Talk about it together. Why do people forget to say thank you? And we'll see you guys next time for a brand new show. Bye! Bye! Okay, this is for when uh, one of your parents takes all your devices away. You cut me deep, Trick. You cut me real deep just <laughs> now. This is for when we're in the middle of this show and we forget what we're saying. Okay. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> That's Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when you're down to your last Oreo. My precious. <laughs> At the doctor's office. Okay. Okay. <coughs> <laughs>
So Savannah, can you remember what the bottom line for this week is? Yes. What is it? Tell everybody out there. Say thank you. Yes, say thank you. Um, we need to think of a whole lot of people that we're thankful for. So I think we could make a list. Could you think of enough people to make a list? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so Savannah's going to run and get a pen and some paper. You guys can do the same thing because we are going to make a list of all the people we're thankful for. And Pixie, I'm sure, will help us out. <laughs> For my friends, Zoe and Zanae, my mum and dad, my granny, my grandpa, my nana. Remember the names on your gratitude list? Choose someone that you would like to say thank you to and create a card for them. Go on, get creative, you can do it. Make sure you actually give it out though. Sometimes we assume that people realise we appreciate them. It's not always the case. Remember, it's all about saying thank you. The Bible is full of places reminding us to give thanks to God and to give thanks to people. It's so good to say thank you. And you know what our memory verse is, Psalm 136, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His loving kindness continues forever. Savannah and Pixie are busy reading their Bibles, and there are so many places to be thankful for. Also, you know that list that you made? Savannah, have you got that list somewhere? Yes. That list is a great place to start off for praying for people. And so here's some people that Savannah can start praying for right away, right this week. You can do the same. Grab your list. Think of some people that you can pray for this week and make sure to thank God for them. Say, Say thank, thank you. you. Have a great week.